What's up, people? I know it's been a minute. Let me get rid of that glare right there. How's that? I got my I got my girlfriend's old phone for a camera on my rearview mirror with a hair tie. <laughs> so here at the food pantry today, sitting there doing nothing. So I figured, you know, I try and do a vlog. I need to get into doing vlogs again. Keeps me active. So, even if it's just a couple couple minutes a day, I'm going to try and make a video. Um, so, anyway, it's been two months now since uh, we lost Arlo. Little idiot ran away. I, had him, I let him out to pee. He's on the chain. He went pee. Yeah, I called him in. He went pee. And he's walking up the sidewalk. And at the last minute, he turns off and goes and lays down in the grass. Like a little Egyptian statue, you know, with his ears up and everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was weird. So, so I go back play my game and uh, Steph was in the shower she gets out of the shower you know couldn't have been 5-10 minutes and she goes to let Arlo in and he's off the chain just gone so she goes up up the street I go the other way couldn't find him we get in the car drive around we drove around probably hour and a half looking for him couldn't find him, and uh, then uh, Stephanie's daughter put it on Facebook or something like that, and uh, and somebody called or sent her a message or whatever and said that he was at the pound. So so I go to the you know Main Society website. Sure enough, he's there, and they they said he, he got picked up at 1:20 couple blocks over from where we're at and uh he let he he when I when I put him on a chain or left him outside it was one o'clock so so somehow he must you know got off either somebody let him off the chain or he just got off the chain I don't know but somehow he made it you know a few blocks away and somebody picked him up that fast and we're still driving around looking for him and he's already at the pound. So it was like 230 bucks immediately to get him out. Of course we didn't have it. Tried to borrow it, nobody nobody help us, but you know, you can't expect people that's a, that's a lot to borrow, you know. Uh, but anyway it was two hundred and thirty bucks and then twenty five bucks a day. And we tried, but we couldn't do it. So he, they neutered him, of course, first thing. And uh, he got adopted the very first day, of course. He was, you know, he's purebred picking litter, so he was like 1100 1200 bucks. So he was, you know, somebody snatched him up. And he's neutered now, so he's, you know, probably a good dog now. But he was... He was driving Stephanie crazy, and he's peeing all over. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had dogs all my life. You know, dogs, cats. You know, they pee and poop. That's what they do. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna have accidents here and there. You know, you get a dog or a cat, you just expect that. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, it's been a long fucking two months without him. You know, it's just like uh, having a kid. We had him about three years. Now we just got the cat. So, the cat's an asshole, so not very friendly. <laughs> as friendly as she gets, is she might come lay by you and stare at the wall. That's her way of showing that she cares, you know. But yeah. I'm going to try and do more blogs, so, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.